Now to the miracle on the high seas, an American rescued after falling off a cruise ship, managing to survive for hours, lost and drifting at sea. Victor Okendo has the latest. Victor, good morning. Good morning, Wit. It's still unclear how this passenger fell overboard. The Coast Guard says that they had to search an area about the size of Massachusetts and call his survival incredible. This morning, a cruise ship passenger is lucky to be alive after falling overboard, spending nearly 15 hours lost at sea. That's him treading water without a life jacket moments before being rescued. It's a testament to uh, his, his will to live. You know, to be out in the middle of the ocean, uh, treading water for upwards of 15 hours is simply incredible. The 28-year-old man traveling over Thanksgiving with his family on the Carnival Valor cruise ship on the way to Cozumel, Mexico. He was last seen around 11 p.m. Wednesday, his sister alerting the crews Thursday that he never returned to his room. They had drained the pool on the main deck. Whitney Gaines was also on board the Valor telling us the ship started searching for the missing passenger. They really started to make announcements. They were asking for him to report back to guest services, and it was coming across like every 15, 20 minutes, down to the point where like people started to notice. Carnival immediately flagging the U.S. Coast Guard. At that point, the Coast Guard entered the distress phase and began marshalling um, our resources in an attempt to get them on scene as soon as possible. Searching by air and sea, the Valor retracing its route to support. There was a potential of over 7,000 miles of ocean we had to search, uh, which is roughly the same size as Massachusetts. We launched a Coast Guard helicopter out of Air Station New Orleans, a 45-foot response boat medium out of Station Venice, and one of our fixed-wing airplanes out of Mobile. Nearly six hours later, approximately 20 miles south of Southwest Pass, Louisiana, a bulk carrier in the search spotted him. Uh, if it wasn't for the, the alert watch standards and the crew members on board the motor vessel um, who initially saw him and then vectored in the helicopter, it could be a very different story. And after being hoisted out of the water, the Coast Guard says that he was showing signs of hypothermia. So he was taken straight to the hospital and at last check, he was in stable condition. Guys, he is lucky to be alive. Oh, he certainly sure is. I, is. 15 hours of treading water. Cannot even A imagine that. A lot of that. questions. All right, Victor, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.